how do you actually go ahead and submit your assignments? Let's get right into it. Okay, so once you write your code here, how do you go ahead and actually submit it? So let's go back over here to cs50.harvard.edu forward slash x. This is the course's website. That has nothing to do with EDX. Over here, by the way, you can also get a free certificate by clicking CS50 certificate. And it gives you some instructions here of what you need to do in order to get that certificate. So in order to submit an assignment, let's suppose that we're working on the assignments for week one. So I'm gonna go down here to my problem set and let's go into Mario, the famous Mario. Let's say that I write up the program and I implement all the requirements that they're asking for. So now I'm ready to submit my assignment. And so we would just scroll down all the way down here and it'll tell us exactly how to submit our assignment. We need to do two things. First, we need to test our code and then we can submit it. Why? When you test your code, it'll give you a grade for it before you submit it. So you know if you're going to pass that assignment or not. So I'm just gonna copy here this command. And I'm gonna go back to my code space. Again, we're working on week one Mario. So I'm just going to change my directory here to Mario less, hit LS to list all my files here. And we'll see that I have the two C programs that I wrote here. And then I also have the two compiled files. So we wanna just go ahead and paste that command that we did. So it says here, check CS50. We hit enter and now it's going to connect to their server, send the code that I wrote. It's going to run a couple of tests on that code and then it's going to give me back an answer. What this is telling me is that these are all the requirements from the problem set. Everything that is in green is something that I've successfully implemented and everything that's in red is parts of my code that are incorrect. Now, in this particular case, I noticed that most of the stuff here is in green and there's only one red. I'm not 100% sure what this means. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link here that they're giving me. I'm just going to co copy paste that. It here it gives me a more detailed log of that response. I've used this many, many times to figure out what's wrong with my code and to debug it and to change it and to be able to submit it 100% correct. And so just from going, looking at this briefly here, I'm noticing that most of the stuff here is in the green and that I only have one red. What that tells me is that I, I'm definitely passing this assignment. I mean, this is probably like a 80 or 90% grade for this assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and just submit it without spending any more time. I don't have any more time to spend on this particular assignment I want to make progress on the course and this is good enough to pass so I'm just gonna go ahead and submit that so uh, now I'm gonna go back here to the problem set page and I see that after checking my code I need to check for style as well so I'm gonna copy I'm gonna copy this command and I'm gonna paste it in my code space hit enter and now it's opening up a window telling me for example the way that CS50 teaches you to write code they would like to see this while loop over here the condition for the while loop they would like to see that on the same line and i wrote it on the bottom for example i don't think they're taking points away for bad style but cs50 one of the things that really sets cs50 apart is that they're teaching you how to code how you would be expected to code at a job so at a job you're working with many other team members and you want to write code that's easy to understand that doesn't surprise people when they read it trying to figure out where is what you want to write something in a standardized way and so cs50 as opposed to other courses they really push all the time write code in a correct style now i'm not going to make any changes here because again i don't think this is affecting my grade but i'm just going to keep that in mind for the next assignment to try to comply to the style a little better and hopefully that'll help me write better code in the future but for now again we're good here just to pass the assignment just to move on i don't have more time to spend on this so i'm going to go back here to the problem set web page and the next step after this is how to submit i'm just going to copy this command here for submitting my homework copy that i'm going to paste it over here hit enter now it's asking me am i ready to submit it i would type here yes confirming that i have being honest in my submission for this homework 
hit enter. And once I do that, it's gonna give me a link to where I can see my grade for this assignment. So I'm gonna open up a new tab, paste that in, hit enter. And now we'll see here that the grade is ready. We see I got a nine out of 10, a 90%. And that for style, I got 0 0.62, which my style wasn't great, but they're not gonna fail you on the course for writing bad style, as far as I know. And so you would do this for every assignment, everything that they're asking for you to submit, this is the way to do it. Eventually after, after you submit everything, including your final project, you can go back to the CS50 website here, scroll down to the CS50 certificate. You're going to click on this link here that says CS50 certificate. You're gonna log in via GitHub. It's gonna take a minute or two to load and eventually It'll give you this right here. And if you click on PDF, here's a certificate that I got for free from Harvard signed by David Malin.